What's up guys? So today we have the Jeep back in the garage for what I think is one of the most essential upgrades if you're running a three link front. As you can see right now, I'm running a stock bushing on here and there's only one upper control arm. So that puts a lot of stress on that stock bushing. So the upgrade I'm planning on doing today is I purchased a press-in flex joint from Iron Rock Off-Road and we're going to be installing that. Should be a whole lot more solid than what we have with a factory bushing. It is about zero degrees out here right now so I'm really hoping this is a quick and easy job. So let's hurry up and get started. First things first, we got to get this jacked up, get the front axle drooped down so we can get all the tension off from all the control arms, let the suspension sag down. And let's pull the upper control arm off and see what we have to do to get that bushing out. So now I have the Jeep all up on jack stands. Have it supported under the unit body right here at this jack point. And then I let the suspension droop all the way down to pull the tires off so I can get low enough. Just to the point where the spring loses its tension. And then support the axle with these jack stands. Just to keep it from rotating once I disconnect that control arm. And then just support its own weight so it's not hanging from shocks or anything like that. So now that we have the Jeep all supported, here's what we're working with. So as you can see right here, it's an up close look at this bushing. So what we're gonna have to do is pull this one bolt out, pull that control arm off, and then we should be able to put a press on here and slide that out towards the driver's side, which would be towards the right, as you can see it right now. So let's get this thing pulled off and then I'll update you guys again. Alright, so now we just got the control arm off at the axle. And now we can take a look at this bushing. And as you can see here, mine is already completely shot. So this is a prime example of why you really need to upgrade this and not run a factory bushing. All of this, all these bushings do is limit your flex as well as cause a lot of slop in your three link front end. So now we just have to hope that we can press this out easily and not have any issues or have to burn that bushing out and have to cut the sleeve to get it out. I'm really hoping I can just line something up on there and get it pressed out. Let's see what we can do. All right, so here's my plan as of right now. I did not buy the tool jig from Iron Rock Off-Road to remove this because I was hoping that I would be able to use this. You know, this is, is a ball joint press. So I took one of the fittings and I fitted it around the outside on the driver's side and it's not quite the right size for meeting up with the mounting point on the diff but I'm hoping once there's tension on it it'll hold it straight and then I just took a thick washer to put on this side. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to start tightening this down and see if it'll work. What I'm hoping, it'll just press that right out and then we can basically do the same thing for putting the new one in. Let's give it a shot.
All right, so I got a little sketchy, but we were able to get it off with a ball joint press. Turns out you don't really need to buy the Iron Rock Off-Road Kit to do it. I uh, had to use some random bracket I found in the scrap pile and just a simple washer, and it was the perfect size to fit all the way through. And we got the whole thing off. So it works fine for pulling the bushing off, but let's hope it'll work for getting the new flex joint pressed in. So we're going to get it greased up and start assembling the new one. Now we have the sleeve pressed in, then after that's pressed in, you have to go ahead and pound tabs around the outside of this thin edge that just resist it from being able to pull back out in the future. Now that that's all in, go ahead and take the ball, lather it up in grease, and start assembling each part. So let's go ahead and do it. Alright, now that everything's assembled, we're going to go ahead and torque each, all eight bolts down to 20 inch pounds in a crisscross pattern, just like you do with lug nuts. Alright, there we have it. We have all eight of the bolts torqued down to 20 inch pounds. I like to go from like back and forth from side to side just to make sure since these plates are just sandwiched together. As you tighten one side, you're pulling the other side in so that it makes those bolts loose. So just keep going back and forth until all of them are torqued down evenly to 20 inch pounds. And then once you're done, you have it all assembled and you just go ahead and put the control arm back on. It's as easy as that. So let's get the controller back on and put it all back on its own weight. All right, and there we have it all put back together. You have the upper control arm back on, as you can see. Brand new flex joint installed. Everything seems to be correct. So I'll have to go drive it and test it out, but it was a pretty straightforward job, so I'm not going to imagine there's gonna be any issues. Um, I hope this video was at least helpful to some of you, even though it's pretty easy, but if you have the wrong tools or you don't know what you're doing, I can see it being a little bit confusing. So hopefully this was a little bit helpful. This was an upgrade I've been wanting to do for a while now. That bushing has just been going bad for a while and I've just been dreading getting under here and pulling it out. But I'm glad I finally did it. It is absolutely freezing out here though, so I'm glad I'm finally done. If you've stuck around this long in the video, I'm really hoping I was able to help you guys out. And thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.